hit start record and then I was just like hey, let's have a coughing fit right now right now this one probably this one let's carry on for another half an hour and then be very sleepy while doing it disaster I don't remember the voices that I gave these so it's gonna be good isn't it disaster log C008 September the 4th 1:27 p.m. Quick update. Captain Iziz has uh, revealed the current destination. She has some kind of offshore rock she frequents, completely private, all her own. I'm convinced it's been long submerged. We're going anyway. And log. We should be able to get there before sundown. There's some emergency supplies and treasures I want to check on. Treasures. My trophies from the ships I've encountered. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk properly. Gah! Stolen goods. <laughs> you think I'm a villain, don't you? Well, come on, let's hear your honest opinion. Hostage. Hey, oops. <laughs> Are you actually good or something? You're probably Peter Pan. Well, actually, we already did stuff like whatever. Now that you mention it, I think you're all talk. Gah, what? You may have taken me hostage, but it may have only been due to other extreme circumstances. Something's wrong with your head, hostage. I'm just saying, you let me live under the pretense of serving you, but it could be that you're in love with me. Shut up, don't say it! You never actually wanted to kill me? Gah, idiot. Are you trying to make me prove my badness? I'm a stab ya. I can throw you overboard whenever I wanted. But you haven't so far. Da, 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 da. Gah, I'm done with playing with you. Go record your stupid weather data or something. I'm very busy here. She's for a fit. What an odd girl. Disaster log C009, September 4th. 5.46 p.m. Reached the rock. It's a small... Is lit. Looks to be approximately 5 square meters minimal vegetation. What I'm fucking baffled by is how it's still above sea level, unless most of it is presently submerged. How it's still here when the ocean back home was up to read and see. Disembarking soon. We'll report back tonight. End log. Here we are. My treasure trove. Want to come inside? Captain, this island, how big was it before? What do you mean, how big was it before? It's about the same size as it's always been. Still happy you told me about that GPS thingy. Made me much easier to find than usual. I thought, wasn't the ocean rising? Huh? That's the only explanation for how bad it's gotten. Are you an idiot? was the only explanation date reported over and over in the news. You really thought all oh, this rain was making the whole ocean rise that much? <laughs> but the, the reports... Oh, bullshit, obviously. Wh what? What do you know? There's solid data behind the theory. I've seen it. I must have read a hundred threads about it on the internet over the past week. You're calling that bullshit? The internet never lies. Yeah, I am, because they got it totally wrong. You think the island's top scientists and specialists all got it wrong? You think you know more than them? How often does it rain up there in, um, what, region B, C? On average? You're the weather girl. Tell me the stats for the rainfall in your region versus the coast. It's, it's about the same across all the regions. We're an island, 90 or so days out of the year. Experience light rains. Wrong. I've always heard there are more sunny days the higher up you go. That's nonsense. I counted last year. All the days I could see the sun. Guess how many I came up with. I'll give you a hint. I could count them on my fingers. I haven't seen any reports that would suggest 
whatever reports you read are bullshit. Crap. Are you telling me I'm mistaken? Me, who's lived on the coast all my life? There were ten sunny days last year. I only got as far as three for this one. That's... That doesn't make any sense. In all that time, rains never made the Asian ocean rise far enough to swallow my entire home off, so obviously. The whole island's sinking. What do you expect? It's made of mud! <laughs> the, the whole... I, I think everything would have noticed if that were the case. I was like, they were only looking at the water, so of course they'd believe it was rising up to swallow them. <laughs> da, 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 da. You upper region nerds only see what's right in front of your faces. That's why you all scrambled and died when the ground fell out from underneath you. I just hadn't considered it. Well, now enough lollygagging. We didn't come here to stand around the lane, rain, rain, lane, in the lane, you know, League of Legends, whatever. Wanna come see my treasure or what? Sure. Fine, show me your treasure. There's a good sport. I've never shown it to anyone before. Consider yourself lucky, hostage. That tongue action. What the hell? Oh no. She... She has a teddy bear fetish. Oh no, this is bad. What's up this? You are all my treasures, all the wonderful things I found on my adventures. It's... Not what I expected. Actually, I was half expecting this was where you kept the bodies. Wow, that's not what I wanted out of that option. Glass him! <laughs> bodies? Oh, like, like I'm some sort of serial killer. <laughs> It was entirely possible for you to take me to a cave full of your trophies and hang to add me to a collection. That's pretty dark. You've got some anxiety issues to work through, hostage. Hmm. Um, lucky it turned out to be an instant pile of junk. Junk? Well, I guess I didn't expect someone like you to really get it anyway. Someone like me, huh? Everything in your house was like new. No personality. Extremely boring. You were my house? Before I snuck on your boat, I checked inside, yeah? Pissed me off. Knowing you buried yourself in all that stuff. Hey, I don't have anyone to provide for, so I have a lot of disposable income. What's wrong with spending it? You give it all to the people above you, so they can fill their own houses with nicer, even more useless junk. My collection is different. I know exactly each piece came from, and I who, and who I got it from. From the looks of it, you're a big fan of stealing from children. What the stuffed animals? Those are well, well they're really important, not stolen. Okay. Mm. You you have one too, don't you? Your bear. Yeah, I do. That's how I could tell that you're not bad. What are you talking about? You have a whole pile of stuffed bears and you're awful. <laughs> Guess it's not a very good measure of character after all. Let's get back on the boat. I'm starving. You better cook me up a good meal, my dear hostage. <laughs> Leave it to me. Disaster log C010, September 4th, 10.12pm. Learned a lot today. There goes my phone. Let's put that on my bed. On the bed you- oh sh- my phone may be broken now. Our island is sinking. It'll, it'll keep sinking until the rain stops, I bet. So I guess there's not much I can do. The net hasn't come back because the servers have been long submerged. So yeah, I guess. Fuck it. Everyone's dead, probably. Captain SSSSS showed me her treasure trove. It was full of junk. Junk with sentimental value or something. She brought aboard some useful supplies, though, like canned fruit. Gotta find scurvy. Gotta fight scurvy if we're gonna be out at sea indefinitely. <laughs> indefinitely. We're living through the apocalypse, aren't we? No state of normality to return to after this. It's all getting washed away in the rain. Our entire civilization collapsing into the sea. But Captain Asasasasasa 
used to the rain. Used to the rain. I can't speak words. The reports about the coast were wrong. Looking down, you could we would always see clouds and mist, sure. But the reports didn't say. No, I mean the reports were bullshit. Captain's words. She saw the sun only ten days in a year. So, it's all fucked then. I don't know what I should be doing. And log. I think I just need to relax for the night. Come with a plan tomorrow. I'll rest. We'll shove off in the morning and then... Oh, hostage, you're a sneaky one, aren't you? Hiding this from me for so long. Hmm? What do you mean? I found all your booze. Let's drink it together. Why? Why wouldn't you just talk me with it and drink it all yourself? What? It's not as fun drinking all alone. Are you even of age? I'm 24. And even if I wasn't, who's going to stop me? I would. You'll be irresponsible. You're such a goody goody, my hostage. Now, drink up. Unless you're the one who ain't old enough. Did I double click there? No, I didn't. I'm 27. So old. <laughs> What's with you today? Show me your secret treasure, not waving that knife around. I mean, there's a bottle. You can glass him instead. I say glass him because it's a me. Or it's not really a me. It's a very, very not well me. I'm talking words. No wonder it's my joke. <laughs> and now you're inviting me to drink with you. Trying to be friendly or what? Don't get the wrong idea. You're still my hostage. I'm just doing whatever I feel like. That's all. I don't understand you one bit. What's not to get? As long as I live, I'm going to have as much fun as I possibly can. That's the only rule I live by. Dot, 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 dot. Well, Salpus, want to drink or what? Sure. Yeah, fuck it. Hand over the bottle. That's the spirit. <laughs> Disaster lock. See, 0 to 11. September 4th, 11.40pm. Drink your captain is ah, sa, 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 tonight. Probably a bad decision. That's why it's going in the disaster log. Not sure I care what happens at this point. Fuck it. Maybe it'll be a good time. End log. Hey, can I ask you something? What? Don't make fun of me. I should have asked before, but it's getting ridiculous now. What do you want to ask? Okay. Okay. What's your name again? <laughs> oh my god. I never told it to you. <laughs> I know. I never even asked. Well, what is it? It's Mel. You're a good sport. Mel. Mel. Man, that, that's weird. I'm just gonna keep calling you hostage. What was the point in asking then? Just to know, I mean, you gotta know, right? What if we're the sole survivors? I'm not the only one with a boat. But if we're the sole survivors, I don't know your name, wouldn't that be f fucked? Oh my god. So, what's your story anyway? You can't just ask me that. We're bonding. What else am I supposed to ask? Why don't you go first? Fair, let's see. I was in a pirate gang. Pirate gangs aren't real. I was! We raided rich people's boats. Boats are really valuable on the coast. See, you can make a good living if you have a boat. You can go out, catch a bunch of old fish. They sell for a lot. I used to dig for clams, but the money is no good there. Market's oversaturated. Look at you, coast economy expert. <laughs> you kind of know this stuff. You don't want to be digging in the mudflats for the rest of your life. Anyway, being in a pirate gang was no good either. More fun than the honest living. Shit, no. Your turn. I already know about your boring job. But why'd you build a ship? I needed a temporary escape route. Knew if the water even reached my region, it'd be tough to make it to A or even B. I figured if the ocean was at my doorstep, I'd just take off and ride the waves until things went back to normal. All by yourself. Yep, all by myself. It was supposed to be temporary, so I could fig 
I figured I could manage. You live alone too. Yep. And you work on the computer? Yeah, from home. I wouldn't be able to stand it. You didn't even have someone to go to bed with, did you? I'm well, looking for something like that. What? You're kidding. I'm not at all. I'm a sexual. What's that? It means I'm not interested in having sex with anyone. <laughs> You're pulling my last, not real. Neither pirate gangs. <laughs> You're one of a kind, hostage. It is not right to be. Nah, I mean, in general, you're not just because you don't want to fuck it anymore. Are you glad you didn't kill me then? Want to know the truth? <laughs> I can do it. Can stab you. Isn't that funny? Nothing's funny about waking up with a knife in your face, whether or not you were actually going to use it on me. I think it's pretty funny. And you're your big fuzzy home I could only dream of. I hate you so much. But then I saw you holding your little bear friend and everything got all messed up. Messed up? Messed up? Yeah, messed up. I was sure you totally suck and deserve to die. Hey, you should be touched by my change of heart. No way, you're real bad. You're even bad at being bad. This is extremely noteworthy. Disaster log C, what, 12 or something? Drunker clock. Chats and sa 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 sa. Then I have the guts to stab me. Should I have even been afraid not this mess over here? What are you doing? My disaster lot. Gotta record important facts. Oh yeah, you diary. Do you talk about me a lot? Sa 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 is gay. Headlock. Just because he didn't stab you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's late and the bottle's empty. I'm turning in. I'm already turned in. So much more turned in, phoned in. Giving the fuck up. Go to bed, idiot. You're gonna laugh when you're so hungover tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, night, Captain. Ugh, my head. Do you need some water? We're surrounded by it. There's enough water. Ugh, the rain is so loud. Should I nav navigate today? No, I'm the Captain. I'll do it. Just give me some time. Sure. Hey, I didn't say anything weird last night, did I? No weirder than usual. Good. That's what I thought. Good. Hey, how come you're okay and I'm not? How unfair is that? Sorry, should have... I have held you back a bit? Yeah, you're not even laughing at me over this. Of course not. You're in pain. That sucks. It does. Can I ask where we're headed next? Away from the rain is so noisy. I might have some earplugs if they help. Stop fussing over me. Just be quiet. <laughs> Disaster log C013, September 5th, 11.04am. Captain Isasasasasa is hungover. While she's recovering, I've had some time to think. Ten straight days of fairly heavy rainfall. It's absolutely unheard of for our island. With the exception of the coast, apparently. So why the sun change? Almost like a switch has flipped, and the rains that played the coast began to plague the whole island. Upper regions didn't take, couldn't take it. The muddy foundation fell apart over the rocky coast. So why build a mud out of necessity? As long as there's rain, it won't keep its shape. You know you build high if what below you stay solid ground. So what if, as the upper regions were built, they created barriers in an atmosphere? Or they could artificially keep rain clouds from rising past a certain ele elevation. Forming clouds around a sturdy coast instead, ensuring the rain would fall back into the sea before it could reach us. Always be able to build higher and higher until there was some kind of malfunction in dust. Calamity. Of course, I have no proof of any of this. It'd be quite an elaborate conspiracy if it were true. Would there be any evidence left if we went back now? Or has that really fallen to the sea? Keeping this theory to myself for now, nothing can, good can come from telling Captain Asasasa about it. I hope I can find the truth somehow. End log.
Where's my hostage? Get in here, hostage. So demanding. What is it? Do you feel any better yet? Bit? Anyway, figured out what we should do today. About that. I already had something in mind. Oh, let's hear it then. Really? I was surprised you wanted to listen to what your hostage wants. Well, sure, if it's more fun than my idea, we'll do it. And if not, too bad. I don't expect much from a nerd like you anyway. Well, whatever. I think we should go back home. Go back? <laughs> to where? Your home sank, remember? True, but I'd like to confirm its current state with my own eyes. Don't be stupid. As long as the rain keeps up, there's no point in going back there. Everyone's even dead or desperate. As soon as we get close, I will get bored and toss in some muddy corpse water. Too dangerous. What's this? You, a knife wielding foreign pirate afraid of a little danger? G I'm not scared, I'm just not stupid. Hmm. The idea sucks after all. That was the time we could have spent sword fishing. Sword fishing? Sword fishing! I want to eat like a king tonight. Let me catch one. Big old swordfish. You're going to make me a swordfish steak? I don't know how to prepare something like that. <laughs> Come on. Where's your sense of adventure? Just do it. I could say the same to you. What? About your whole going back idea? I told you, that's actually a right. A pretty epic adventure. We drift in suddenly on the cover of night. Then you wade through all the mud and wreckage you want. So, can we go? Only if you catch me a swordfish, then I'll consider it. Right, a swordfish. I'll get our fishing gear. <laughs> You'll really do it. Sawfish steak for dinner. Yeah, yeah. Disaster log C014. September 5th. 6.21pm. Might be in for a long night. I convinced C Captain Sasasasasar to take us back to our sinking island on the condition that I catch and prepare a swordfish for our dinner tonight. If this is what it takes, this is all I have to do. I'll do it. End log. Sword fishing, sword fishing. Hey, any bites yet? No. Hmm. Duh, duh, duh. What about now? Still no. Ugh, hurry up and take the bait, swordfish. Why am I the only one casting a line here? Wouldn't our chance of catching something be better if we're both doing this? Bad crap. Bad plan. It's got to be you doing the catching. That you're getting. You only accept a swordfish caught by your hostage. What? I don't care about that. It's gotta be you because if I catch it, who's gonna wrangle the dang thing? Now I have the guts. I don't appreciate you deciding that for me. Yeah, well, guts no guts, your arms are too scrawny. And yet, you somehow expect me to be able to reel in a large fish. I'll help when the time comes. Which better be soon, by the way. I'm getting hungry. Da, 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 da. Still nothing. The debate fall off. I'm not checking again, we've done this three times already. I guess we just need to wait a little longer. Mm -hmm. How about some friendly conversation to pass the time? What do you want to talk about, hostage? How about that rain, huh? I want to hear more about you. It's how you get the girls on the date. Alright, tell me about yourself. Huh? Did I already tell you about my backstory? I vaguely remember something like that happening. Then why not tell me something I don't know? <laughs> Fine, here goes. She's hot. She's single. It's Captain Asasasasa, your favorite fun-loving pirate girl. What is this? Your reality show intro? What's a reality show? Forget it. No one talks like that. Well, I don't know what else I should say. Hold on. I think I feel a bite. <gasps> really? The pull. <laughs> RPG maker sounds. Gah! <laughs> Swordfish! We really caught one! Man, Hostage, you're amazing! We really did it! <laughs> we did it! That was scary. Did you see? When it failed, flailed, it almost got me! I'm just glad I could wrangle it just like. Gah! <laughs> Swordfish steak, Swordfish steak! <laughs> that was so dangerous. Why did you make me catch one? You better. You feel better now, though, don't you? That's the first time I've heard you laugh this whole trip! Not, not true? <laughs> Don't make me sound like such a stick in the mud. Either way, that was fun. Let's cook this baby up. Disaster log C015. September 5th, 10.54pm. Successfully caught a sawfish for Cat Sasasasasa. I admit the last part was pretty thrilling. I wouldn't do it again, but it was fun. We'll be ready to eat soon, and after that, 
We'll see a captain of Sasa 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 remembers our deal. End log. Mmm, smells tasty. I'll be ready in a minute. Sit down. Can't. Too excited. Give me a taste right now. Fine, I'll cut you off a little piece. Here, how's this? Mm, a little underwhelming. But you know what makes fish taste even better? Booze! We're drinking again? I don't know if I should let you. We do have a mission to go on in a few hours. Wow, it's fine. It's just a little. We'll see. You still want to go back? Of course. That was the plan. I wanted to check it out. Dot, 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 dot. Food's ready. Yeah! Hey, you were kidding about not letting me drink, right? We'll just have a little of our steaks. I'll allow at least that much. Yeah, you're the best hostage. Gah, I'm stuffed. What a good meal. I'm still not big on fish, but it wasn't bad. <laughs> One day you'll find the type of fish you like eating. <laughs> Doubtful. We will. You don't believe in me. Pretty weird goal to have. All of a sudden you'll forget about it soon enough. No way, I'm not that flaky. We'll see. Do you even know who you're talking to? This one's going right on my list of dreams. List of dreams? You have a whole list. Of course it do, doesn't everyone? <laughs> Alright, Captain. I believe you. Want to know my biggest dream? I'll tell you. If finding a fish I actually like makes the list, it's probably something unimpressive. <laughs> Shut up, this one's serious. I always wanted to go out to sea, like, way out there. I find a new island. Where the sun's always shining. A new island. Sorry to crush your dream, but ours is the only one, and it's sinking. <laughs> no way, that's gotta be others. Science says no. There's nothing out there, just little rocks like the ones of your treasure trove. How do you know? Have you ever been out there? Have you already seen it all for yourself? Of course not. Then you read all about this on the net to give me one reason I should believe you. Perhaps you're right. See? <laughs> I knew it. If you're so convinced, why haven't you taken off to find your new island already? All you need is a boat and some supplies. And you have plenty of access to both. The kind of life I imagine you led. Nah, not telling. Why not? It's a stupid reason. Question mark. It's because I, I, I don't want to go alone. Oh, I see. No one believed there was anywhere we could run to. Everyone thinks we're already living on the own island that we could really live on. That's the consensus, but we could find out, couldn't we? But what are you saying, hostage? I mean, if there's really nothing left to go back to, what other choice do we have? Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? We're gonna see what's out there. I'm considering that, but that's for later. Later, right. You still want to go back first. I do, but after I settle my shit, we can settle yours. Is that a promise? Pretty selfish to put yourself first when I'm the captain. Sorry, although you're the one steering the ship, so it's really up to you where we go first. I already said we'd do your thing if you caught me the swordfish. And you caught it, and it was worth it, so... <laughs> when I first saw you, I never thought you'd be the type to honour a deal like that. It's only fair. I might be bad, but I owe you. I never thought I'd hear those words. <laughs> Might just be the booze talking, forget it. I don't owe you shit. <laughs> now, hold on a minute. Carry me to bed, hostage. I'm too full of a soulfish and I want to get cosy. <laughs> Whatever you say, Captain. Yeah, <laughs> can't believe you had to carry me. You told me to. You'd be in a good mood all night. We should have done this sword fishing thing sooner. It wasn't the sword fishing that. Well, maybe sort of. See, that's what I'm saying. Okay, I will admit, you got it more and more tolerable somehow, but I'm probably just going crazy from being stuck here with you. <laughs> I'm not crazy. You just like taking care of me. That is out of necessity. I don't do things for you because I actually want to. Liar, I know why. It's because you love me. Sure, it's a freaking visual novel. Let's 
do it. Captain Asasa, I want to be inside you. That's not how you do it. Yep, that's totally it. I'm so in love with you. Come on, don't say it like that. Oh, my captain, I'll do anything for you, and not just because you have a knife. I get it, you're just shy. And you're delusional. Go to sleep. You go to sleep. You're drunk. <laughs> Let's both get some rest. Wake me up in three hours. You're trying to hold me around. If I follow your orders, you just think I'm in love with you. So yes, I'm ordering you around this once. Hey. <laughs> Night, Captain. Sweet dreams, my hostage. Hey. Hey, hostage. Wake up. But what? Uh, why? Tell me to wake you up. You know why? Um, oh yeah, five minutes. You conscious yet? Yes, only. I apologize. Whatever. So once I wake up from that, I set course for the island. How far is it? Pretty close. There's a, I feel safe getting us to. You don't want to do this, do you? Yeah, I don't. We got a nice thing going on this boat. I don't want to lose it. There's something I need to know. I have to try. Even if you only took the little life raft from here, you can run to some other survivors. They might be desperate to steal it. You don't know what people are like in life or death situations like this. Don't eat you alive. There's no way to talk about disaster victims. People help each other in times of need. Not always, especially not when things are so hopeless. At the end of the day, you gotta keep yourself alive. If you go and check out whatever it is you want to check out, you might not come back. Dot, 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 dot. Let me make things perfectly clear. We can either turn back for a nice, simple, happy ending where I right click, where the two of us escape the end of our world. I can risk everything by going back to the island right now and probably die or get killed before we can make it back. I don't know that I'll die so easily. Don't act tough. You built this boat for a reason. Your strengths are not being out there in this mess. We made it, made it here. You don't have to throw your shitty way of life way like this. Shit, I fucked up the line. Dot, 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 exclamation mark. God, I don't mean I just... I don't want to be alone. It's after, sir. Whichever way things turn out in the end, the ship's headed as far away from the ship island as I can get. We said we could find out together. We would see if there's another island out there. One that isn't drowning in the rain all the time. So I don't know. Please. I'm begging you here. Dot, 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 dot. Like. I. I'm gonna leave with a Sasasa, to be honest, because it sounds like I'm role playing as the character as well. There isn't shit for her back there, to be honest. It sounds like she was all alone, and this is her first friend, so we're gonna leave. You're right, it's too dangerous. I didn't consider how you felt. You're really giving up on this? <laughs> what a relief! Yeah, I shouldn't risk it. Let's just go far away from here. That's right, to wherever the sun shines. Yeah. We'll find a place like that. It's gonna be out there somewhere. And until we find it, we have your awesome boat to sail around in, catching fish, drinking. The alcohol's going to run around pretty quick if you keep drinking every night. Then we'll save it for special occasions. It'll be much better this way, I promise. Yeah, it will be better. Thank you for changing my mind. Disaster log scene 016. September 6th, 11.55 a.m. I guess this is the end? the end of my disaster logs that is there's no point in continuing them if I'm evacuating permanently strange to think only four days ago this little journey began and then it got immediately derailed by sa 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 but maybe it was fated to turn out that way she made me realize a lot about my old life was kind of bullshit I was never particularly attached to anything or anyone before I had what I needed I was content with my job but Never met anyone like Sa 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 Sa. Never met anyone so reckless, spontaneous, and well, fun. I'm worried I kind of lost my mind somewhere along the way, but this just makes sense. Whatever was really going on with that island, if there was some kind of bigger truth I couldn't have known, it doesn't really matter to me anymore. The island's gone, so I'll find a new one. I use my equipment to find a gap in these rain clouds. We'll keep searching until we find the kind of place she's been dreaming of. That's the best bet we got. So I guess 
That's it, huh? I log. Good ending. I did it. Thanks, Nom Nom Nami. Thanks, Dark Chibi Shadow. Thanks, Timari. Thanks, Arcade Party. Thanks, Cosmic Approach Fabric Kini and Mipivative. And Patreon supporters. Made and Rem theme planning and production by Soft Deluxe Studio. Thanks for making. I did it. That game took pure skill. I'll do the other endings later. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought that was the ending I wanted, to be honest. You know, we don't get to find out what happens next. It's the ending that felt right. I don't think it's actually the best ending you can get, maybe? I don't know. I was role-playing as, as Mel. Maybe the bear's evil. It was all the bear. Isn't that right? Death, destruction, despair. Everyone shall perish 